So now it's time to learn how to return an HTML code. We already know how to return uh, text here in the, uh, in the front end, but this is not useful. This is usually not useful. If you want to create a web application or website, of course you need to return HTML. So how can you return HTML in Django? Well, the first step is that you need to create a folder that's going to hold all of your HTML files. So where should you create that file? Well, in order to create that file, you need to create it in the specific app that you that you want to work on. So now we are working on the blog. So here in the blog, we need to create a new file here, new, new folder, and then you need to name it templates, templates. And then inside that templates, you need to create a new folder. You need here to say new folder, and then you need to give it the same name as the app. So the name of the app was blog. So here you need to say blog. So what you are gonna have now is that you are gonna have templates and then forward slash blog. So inside that blog now, we can create our first HTML file. So here I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna create my first HTML file. I'm gonna say new file, and then I'm gonna name it index.html and then now in the index.html I'm gonna add my code I'm gonna add here this code I'm gonna say h1 and then I'm gonna say this is Django app let me now save and now it's time to learn how to return this to the user so to return this what we need to do is that we need to instead here in the views.py instead of returning HTML uh, HTTP re response we can return HTML so for example here in this article instead of returning here instead of returning HTTP response what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove this completely and then I'm going to say return and then I'm going to return I'm going to say here uh, here return and then I'm going to use a function called render render and then this function render takes three parameters. The first parameter is the request. The second parameter is the file that you want to return. So we want to return, remember, we want to return the index.html that's inside the blog, that's inside the templates. So what we need to do here is that we need to say blog and then forward slash index.html. HTML. So we only specif we only pass here the name of the of this folder but we don't we don't pass we don't say templates for slash blog we just we just say blog and then the name of the file and then finally here you can return whatever parameter you want maybe you want to return here the article id you can here say uh, object and then article id if you want to return this article id you can here give it a value a key article ID this the article ID is the uh, is the key and then the value is the article ID article ID finally we need to we need to uh, import this render so at the top here make sure that you have this render make make sure that you have imported this render finally finally in the settings in the app in the app settings here, in the my project settings, what we need to do is that we need to add this piece of code. This is this piece of code is very important here. In the installed apps, we need to say we need to add this piece of code. We need to say blog dot apps dot apps dot blog config and then uh, comma. Don't forget to add this comma. So you need to add this piece of code. This is very important. This piece of code is going to uh, let uh, Django know that we have this app in our project. Now, if I save everything and if I head on over to the browser, guess what? If I refresh, it's going to return this is Django app. Let me now refresh one more time. And as you can see, it's going to say this is Django app. So it returned, it returned this file. It returned the index.html. So this is how we can return an HTML file to users.